The Supplemental Offer and Acceptance Program, or SOAP, is the process during match week through which positions left unfilled after the matching algorithm has been processed are offered to eligible applicants. SOAP is not another match. It is a series of offers by programs. SOAP consists of four rounds where positions are offered to applicants based on a program's preference list. Each round lasts two hours, during which you can accept or reject any offers you may receive. Only eligible applicants can participate in SOAP. To be eligible, you must be registered for the main residency match, be able to enter graduate medical education by July 1st in the year of the match as verified by your medical school or ECFMG, and be partially matched or fully unmatched on the Monday of match week. On Monday of match week at 10 a.m. Eastern Time, you learn if, but not where, you matched. Match status notification is available in the R3 system and is sent by email. If you are unmatched and eligible for SOAP, your SOAP status on the Match homepage in the R3 system will display that you are SOAP eligible. Not all unfilled programs choose to participate in SOAP. The unfilled programs that do participate will be on the list of unfilled programs in the R3 system. If you find out you are fully unmatched or partially matched, and are SOAP eligible, you can access the list of unfilled programs in R3 to identify the programs where you want to apply. The only way to obtain a position through SOAP is by submitting applications to unfilled programs using the AAMC's Electronic Residency Application Service, ARIS, or through the application service or process communicated by the program. For programs using ARIS, you can submit up to 45 applications total for all SOAP rounds to categorical, preliminary, advanced, and physician reserved programs for which you are eligible. For example, if you are partially matched to an advanced program, you are eligible to apply to only preliminary or transitional year programs. You will be able to see only the types of programs for which you are eligible on the list of unfilled programs. If you are fully unmatched, you are able to see and apply to all program types. Once programs receive applications, they review them to determine which applicants they want to contact and interview. Programs receive applications and can begin contacting applicants beginning at 8 a.m. Eastern Time on Tuesday of match week. Programs typically reach out to applicants by a telephone or email. Each program sets its own process for interviewing applicants, although most conduct telephone interviews. During SOAP, applicants can only contact programs by submitting an application through ARIS or the application service designated by the program. You cannot contact programs outside of submitting your application until the program initiates contact with you after receiving your application. This rule also includes school officials or other individuals acting on your behalf. Applicants who violate SOAP policies will be investigated and could be barred from participation in SOAP the following year. Programs contact applicants and conduct interviews in order to create a preference list of applicants to whom they want to offer a position. During SOAP, applicants do not provide any kind of ranking or preference list of programs. To prevent undue pressure on applicants, program staff cannot ask applicants to indicate where they will accept an offer if one is extended through SOAP. Let's look more closely at the four SOAP offer rounds, which occur on Thursday of match week at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 12 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Eastern Time, and 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Each round lasts two hours. During each round, offers are extended through and must be accepted or rejected in the R3 system. The SOAP section of R3 provides details related to each round, including when each round starts and ends, whether you have any offers, and your decision. All offers are extended simultaneously at the beginning of the round. If you receive an offer, you can accept it, reject it, or let it expire during the round's two-hour window. An offer from a program that is rejected or expires will not be extended to you again in future SOAP offer rounds. If you receive multiple offers during a SOAP round, acceptance of one automatically rejects the others if they are for the same position type or starting in the same appointment year. If you accept a SOAP offered position, a binding commitment is established and enforced by the Match Participation Agreement, which means you are obligated to begin training. At the conclusion of each offer round, 
the list of unfilled programs is updated to reflect positions remaining for the next round. Note that the majority of positions are filled in the first round. You do not need to resend any SOAP applications to programs that remain unfilled at the end of a round. Your applications are available to the programs during all SOAP rounds. The final offer round ends at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Thursday. At 9 p.m., SOAP concludes and the final list of unfilled programs, which is updated to include programs that did not participate in SOAP, is available in R3. At that time, if you are still unmatched or partially matched, you can contact programs on the list directly about their unfilled positions. You've worked hard to reach this point in the match process. And while it's natural to think you'll match, be sure to review the many SOAP resources available on the NRMP website.